Hello and welcome to the Spring Security LDAP integration in SAML extension. The section 2 talks about Apache Data Directory Server and how can we integrate it with the application. So in this section, we are going to take a look how can we get Apache DS, how can we configure it and how can we integrate it with our application. So the first video in this series would be how can we get and install Apache Directory Server. So what do we need? First of all, we need Apache Directory Server. The latest version is 2.0. Apache Directory Server is just like normal other LDAP server available like OpenLDAP and Active Directory. Apache Directory Server is entirely written in Java and it's available under Apache Software License as a freeware. Now we can download it from apache.org link. Second thing, we need is Apache Directory Studio to connect with the Apache Directory server that we just installed and to create the DIT, Directory Information Tree. It can be downloaded from the link. Now, after downloading the Apache Directory server from the link, the first step would be to install it. This is the first screen. Clicking on next, it will ask to accept the license and then it will ask where do you want to install. That would be the home directory of Apache Directory server. In this directory, you will have another folder called instance where your DIT. So if you are creating a partition or creating a DIT for yourself, that would be installed under the instance that you create. So the first instance that you create, let's say default instance. So this default instance will have or the partition that you create within it. Next thing, it will ask you the Java home directory. So you can choose accordingly. I'm selecting JDK 1.8. Okay, so this Apache Directory Server 2.0 needs Java 8. So you might want to select proper JDK for that or JRE. After selecting it, it will be asking you to complete next and that's it. Now, just like other LDAP server, directory information tree remains the same. One with the root element starts with and each entry element having the object classes. The root is called DC the organizational unit or branches and the common names. Each entry will have object classes, multiple objects classes and each object class will have multiple or single attribute with the value. Now to take the example, once again, we have back.com as a root and finance as an organizational unit and two users as Jack Reacher and John Watson. All right. Now after installing Apache directory server, let's see how does it look like. So we'll go and search for Apache that we just installed. So we'll have Apache Directory Studio and another link would be Manage Apache Directory Server or Uninstall Apache Directory Server. So let's take a look from the menu instead of searching it. So this is how it looks like Apache Directory Server and Apache Directory Studio. In the Apache Directory Server, if we click on Manage Apache Directory Server, it will open the service link in your system. So this is belongs to Windows environment Mac and Linux system might have some other configuration for it. Also, if you want to click on it, you can click and select the services or you can go and click on manage. Once you click on manage, it will look like this where you can go to services and applications and services. Here you will have Apache directory server. So the default instance that you just created for the very first time would be here. This is Apache directory server default server instance and it is by default started. So once you install it, it will be started. Now let's open the Apache Directory Studio. This Apache Directory Studio will look like as an Eclipse environment that we already have. 